Hi, so this week what we're talking about is a book that I recently read and went through and there were some things that I definitely recognized or I thought could relate to the neurodiversity and different thinker community and so I talk about that in this week's article and in particular there were two things that really stood out and one of them was from the book and another one of them was actually from um, her website, the author's website, because I went out to just write her a very brief email to just say thank you for writing this book. It really was interesting, and I'm so grateful that you took the time to do that. When I got to her contact page, it was fascinating. She had placed on there a, a very nice message explaining, and I have it all in the article, that um, thank you for writing her, but she had set some boundaries. I thought this is such a perfect example. I'm so often talking to people about, about boundaries for their own health and well-being, about understanding and respecting other people's boundaries. And, and so I actually have um, her language in there so that you can see what that looks like because it really was so well done. As, and that says a lot about the author herself. Um, as far as the book goes, Educated, a memoir by Tara Westover, um, was a very interesting memoir. I've read quite a few over the years, and it was definitely a really interesting memoir. I thought it was going to be a lot about potentially the educational system and how I might not uh, be the biggest supporter of some of the things. I know they're doing their best. I also believe there's room for growth and space, and I think most people in the neurodiverse community feel that way, especially parents trying to navigate that for their own children right now. And so I thought, I thought that might be what the book was about. I was immensely pleased in some ways that that was not the total focus. Um, it definitely points out a few things about the educational system, um, like the fact that um, when someone is defined as homeschooled, um, nobody may, you know, in some particular ways and spaces, nobody may ever check to see if that's actually happening. And so what happens in that gap? And so if you've thought about reading Educated, it is about the journey of a family um, told through uh, this one person's perspective, this child's perspective, and in particular, um, the parents do not believe that the educational system is brain will brainwash their children so they do not send them there and they phase out even homeschooling um, with textbooks those types of things because again they feel very strongly that that is complete brainwashing and so um, it turns out these are very intelligent children and they seek to learn and to know more and um, if you want to see what lengths people will go through to become educated and to learn and to grow, this book is definitely about that. So those are my two big things that I would point out. One last item, bonus item, shall we say, is about, um, she talks about a lecture in particular, and this really relates to coaching. She talks about a lecture where the teacher asked about negative and positive liberty and the fact that negative liberty is about the fact that a person doesn't have physical constraints that that don't allow them to have their most robust best life and positive liberty is about a person being um, let me find the exact words, is about self-mastery, the rule of self, by the s and by the self, to have positive liberty. So that really relates to coaching because that's a lot of what coaching is about. For many people, it is about that self-exploration and that self-mastery. And I don't talk about it enough, but that is really what coaching is about. It's about self-mastery, understanding yourself and then applying actions into your life, into the world, to best support you, but also best support the people around you in, in a win-win scenario as often as possible. So that is my quick and easy book review and 
bonus conversation about the great boundaries she has on her website around emailing her and, and that she's not going to be getting back to you too soon because this isn't, she wrote this book and honestly, my interpretation, she wrote this book and she moved on, which is the purpose of memoirs quite often is in the healing. So I'm Joy Jean, an international neurodiversity coach, really encouraging those different thinkers to do some self-mastery. Bye now.